to the epiglottis from the front. If this is your hired bone, I'm basically moving these strap muscles. This bony part right here, right above, it's not that really prominent here, but from there till this epiglottis, this is your hyoepiglottic fold, it's made by the hyoepiglottic ligament. Then finally, we enter into the larynx. And in the larynx, you can see a very nice opening in the center where you have the vocal cords. This right over here is your vocal cord. Keep in mind, the one fold on the top is the vestibular fold. The one on the bottom is the vocal fold. This is your true vocal fold. This is your false vocal cord. Here we have the vocal cords. And now remember, they're two in number. We are looking at only one half. But the space up above and between the vestibular fold and vocal fold, that space is known as the ventricle right here. In some books, it might have even called as a vestibule. But this is a space in between them. Up above, any of this area is all supplied by the superior laryngeal nerve. Below, you have the inferior laryngeal nerve, a branch of the recurrent laryngeal nerves. So the etiology of the damage here is different due to the nerve supply. All of this is your larynx becoming your trachea. You're finally entering into the trachea and uh, you can even appreciate a bit of the cricoid and thyroid. In front, if I would remove all of these strap muscles, this right over here is your thyroid cartilage. A very nice thyroid cartilage and right below it, the cricoid. The ligament in between them, that ligament, so your cricothyroid ligament, this one right over here. And you may have noticed, some of you, there's a muscle overlying the thyroid. This is basically your thyrohyoid muscle. Beyond that, let's come to the back side. We have done the larynx and the trachea. We have done the tongue and all the structures behind. Let's remove all these pins just to clear up the region. And now let's go back to the esophagus. A few things are left to mention over there. Over here, as I said, from the pharynx, we have the entry into the esophagus and into the larynx. The back side of this esophagus, as you can see here, well, before it becomes the esophagus, here is still the pharynx. At this point, it will become the esophagus. And you can see how it becomes very muscular tube-like. At this point, it is still pharyngeal muscles. And this muscle you see right here is the superior constrictor muscle. It will blend nicely with the middle one and inferior one before finally meeting with cricopharyngeus and becoming esophagus. So here I'm putting one in the superior constrictor muscle. If we were to avert it on the back side, you can see there's a whole region exposed here. All of this is the vertebras. 